chair of an uh, academic department is a spiritual leader. They set direction, they set priorities. It's not quite like a CEO of a company because I can't give orders to faculty, that just doesn't work. The academic study of computer science is no longer about the box of how to make a computer and how to make a computer better. Now the exciting stuff is on what to do with this box now that we have it. It's in all of these areas that computer science touches and it touches virtually everything. UT has spun off a lot of companies and the Department of Computer Science has played a role in some of these. The one that particularly impresses me is National Instruments. Now often we don't think of National Instruments as a, as a startup because it's no longer a startup, but it started in the tradition of, of all great startups. It started with three people working at the University of Texas at the Applied Research Lab who were frustrated by the technology of the day. They couldn't get their job done at ARL with the technology available to them for data collection and analysis. So rather than just complain about it, they saw an opportunity and they developed technology to um, analyze and uh, to collect and analyze data and now that's National Instruments. One of the things that most impresses me about National Instruments is that for many years now, it has been one of a handful of IT companies in Austin where our graduates really want to go. It's considered uh, an elite company and they've uh, established that kind of reputation by building a culture that's very um, uh, friendly uh, to uh, creative, uh, smart people. So some of the things that are special about UT that I'm particularly pleased with are the uh, freshman research initiative that enables students to get involved in research projects as freshmen. In our department, they uh, work on an autonomous vehicle, a full-up SUV outfitted with robotic control. And these freshmen are writing the control software to control this car. The students uh, put in an entry into the DARPA Urban Challenge. And this is just a fantastic experience for freshmen. So different from my freshman years, a uh, uh, hundred years ago. As chair of computer science, I'm especially interested in uh, entrepreneurship. I want to expose our students to um, entrepreneurs in town because they're fascinating people. They have passion, they're driven, they're exciting, and they need to be in front of our students. Sometimes people think that the purpose of having an entrepreneurship program at a university is to spin off companies. And I hope that that happens, but that's not my goal. I'm an educator. My goal is to educate students in, in this case, uh, uh, the skill of being an entrepreneur. And um, whether they then graduate and go on to a Fortune 100 company, and they go work at IBM, Fine. Wherever they go, they need this kind of experience. They need to know how to go into an organization and as a, as a sole contributor, invent, create, think outside the box, and bring other people along. Another thing that I'm particularly pleased with is the one semester startup experience that gives these students as juniors or seniors, typically, a chance to work with mentors in town and to really learn the fine art of entrepreneurship. I think the, the special uh, sauce that we have here in Austin is this blend of a tech culture and a creative culture. People here tend to think outside the box just by nature. They're unusual thinkers and uh, they bring to technology that kind of creativity. They also bring an enjoyment, a, a thrill for life. And uh, that's important in Austin, and I think we, 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 our tech culture nurtures that, and in return, uh, that climate, uh, that uh, high quality of life nurtures the tech community.